Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Asan, and today we are going to create login registration form and lost password form on same page in Elementor WordPress. Before starting work, it's my request. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Now back to our work. So we are in WordPress dashboard, and first we are going to enable registration option in our WordPress. So scroll down on left side. You see setting. and then you see general so click on it now setting open and then scroll down you see membership anyone can register enable this option and then you see new user default role subscriber select and then click on save changes now setting saved so we are going to install plugin on left side you see plugin so click on add new plugin then in search plugin write essential addons So this is plugin essential add-on for Elementor we will use. So click on install now and then click on activate it. Now plugin is activated and you can do setting according to your requirement. You see basic advanced custom. Now we select basic and then click on next. So you can enable or disable widgets according to your requirement. You see all widgets. Click on next again. Again click on next and then you see templates if you want you can enable or skip it's up to you. and then you see integration so click on next no thanks now plugin is activated and then you see element so click on it and then we are going to enable login form widget so scroll down now you see login register form enable this widget and then scroll down click on save setting now saving data and then you see setting saved go to elementor page and refresh the page so we are going to create login form Sign up form and lost password form on same page. On left side you see search widget. So write a login, and then you see widget login register form. Now drag and drop here. Now you see widget is added, and then you see username or email address. On left side you see content style advanced. In content you see general, and then you see default form type. So we are going to display all three form on same page. Now you see drop down, so we select login, and then you see hide all form from login user. So disable this option, and then you see redirect user login user. So enable this option. So after login, you can redirect user according to requirement. So you can add your URL, custom URL here, and then you see login form general, and then you see pencil icon edit. So click on it, and then you see show logout link. enable this option log out link text so you can add text according to requirement now you see you are already log in as username and then you see log out link show lost your password enable then you see text lost password link up to default wordpress page now select show lost password form so we are going to display all three form on same page so that's why we select show lost password form and then you see remember me field enable tag show register link yes and then you see register link tag register now again you see registration link action now select form again now click on it and then you see register form journal so again click on it and then you see show login link enable sign in tag so you can add text according to requirement and then you see login link action so we select show login form because we are going to display all three form on same page again click on it and then you see lost password form general again click on it sign in so you can add text according to requirement and then you see login link action again select show login form and then you see enable google recaptcha if you want you can enable or disable according to requirement so you can add api keys in dashboard essential or don element login setting and if you want you can apply the captcha on apply on login form apply on registration form so it's up to you so you can add api keys and then enable setting from here and then you see submit form via ajax so this functionality enable on pro version and then you see form adder content so click on it so you can add image according to requirement now select so you can add image according to your requirement so we select this and then click on select now you see image is added with form 
and then you see image resolution full header image position now left if you want you can make it right now you see image position move now select left so it's up to you show on lost password form enable if you want you can add header logo so logo display here and then you see show on lost password form enable image and then you see login form title welcome back login form subtitle register form title form subtitle so you can add text according to requirement and then you see login form field so click on it label and placeholder default input field password visibility icon enable check by default if you want you can enable this option button text login now you see this is our login text and then you see login form option redirect after login enable this option so you can add custom url according to requirement after login user redirect and then you see redirect based on user role if you want you can enable this option so you can add each custom url for different user role you see administrator editor author contributor subscriber so it's up to you and then you see redirect to previous page redirect to the last visited page before login if you want you can enable this option and then you see social login so this functionality enable in pro version now you see register form field so click on it username email password if you want you can add more field now you see add item so click on it so you can select field according to your requirement so it's up to you and then you see show label enable required mark enable password visibility icon if you want you can enable this option so it's up to you button text register and then you see register form option so click on it and then you see register action notify user by email you see auto login redirect and then you see new user role now you see default so we select subscriber if you want you can select from here subscriber and then you see register user email option what per default if you want you can add custom now you see so it's up to you now we select wordpress default register admin email option if you want you can create custom template now you see or select wordpress default when we select custom you see email subject email message again select wordpress default lost password form field now you see button text reset password form field reset password form option reject after password reset so you can add custom url so after reset password reject to custom url terms and condition if you want you can enable this option validate message you see custom validation text so you can add text messages according to requirement now scroll up you see style so click on it so you can do styling according to requirement you see general container box form login form header now you see header content form logo logo shadow title typography now you see weight from form style and then you see register form header again you see all option lost password form header again you see all option so you can do styling according to your requirement and then you see login button so you can set text color background color now you see login button so you can add background color now you see also you can set hover color when we hover on it so we select this login background color so you can set hover color also for all button register button password button register link now you see so this is our register now and then click on update now update done so you can do styling according to requirement now go to page refresh the page and then you see you are already login as asan admin now open this link again in another window or browser now you see username or email address password so we added password and then you see icon and then you see remember me register now so this is our registration form sign in now back to form again so we are going to enable one more option now scroll up you see content so click on it and then you see enable reset password form 
enable this option so we enable this option and then click on update again now update done go to form page again and refresh the page and then you see forget password so click on it and then you see username or email address sign in again you see sign in form when you click on register now you see registration form again click on sign in and when you click on forget password so click on it and then you see forget password form so i hope you like this video please like comment share subscribe thank you for watching